Okay, so are we going to lose a duck? Let's lose a duck and get Ted on the line. Well, you we're, don't have to lose a duck. Well, if he he's stands there, nice if he's just going to be quiet like he's that, he's a good yeah. duck. Yeah, he's going to be quiet. <laughs> he's not just a don't get duck. too close to him. Okay, so Gretchen, you're going to have to hold the phone. Okay. Right. Hold the phone. Hold the phone, Gretchen. Hold the phone. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm going to get Ted Lange on the phone. And. Uh, now he pronounces it Lange. Is Lange. It Lange? Yeah, Lange. I yeah. always thought it was Hope Lange. Everybody said Lange, yeah, well, right. Hope Lange, no, Lange had an E on the end of her name. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So. But different strokes for different folks, you know? Different Langs for different oh. languages. Ted! Hey! Hey, Sam Hill here with uh, Gretchen, Martin Landau, and the duck. And Wilt. Chamberlain. Wilt, Wilt the duck. The spirit of Wilt Chamberlain <laughs> and a duck. How are you, Ted? Uh, duck. Yeah, a big white Peking duck. It's a pet. Okay. It's a pet. And his name is Wilt Chamberlain. I was friends with uh, Wilt Chamberlain. And, and he's a little sweet and a little sour. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. And, he's um, a watch duck. He and I used to play he basketball watch together. Watch strangers. So how's the show going, Ted, in New York? Okay. Things are well? How are we doing? Good, good. We're just uh, kind of sitting around and... Uh, talking about things. Uh, one of the things that came up is um, you're coming back on the 29th, correct? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just kind of talking about, uh, you know, the uh, uh, producing of this thing. What, 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 what do you want uh, uh, from, from the, uh, the production? I, I, I know, of course, you want to direct, but did you want to get involved with producing as well? No, 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 no. Okay. Hire me on as a director, you know, and you guys do the other stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's what we wanted to find out. And uh, uh, right now we're we're talking uh, Cinegrill uh, and uh, for the uh, for the first production, uh, and then we'll we'll see where it goes uh, from from that point. Possibly the Carlisle in New York. What do you think of the Carlisle, Ted? Oh, I like the Carlisle. I think that's a good idea. That was Martin's idea. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Well, I think Wilt likes it, too. <laughs> what do you think, right. Wilt? <laughs> that's great. So, Cinegrill in L.A., what, now what time period are we talking about? Uh, well, I mean, if you're coming back uh, end of July, you, you have what? Uh, you're going out of town again to Carolinas or something? North Carolina. I go to North Carolina uh, the first week in August, which is the 3rd through the 9th. Okay, where so, uh, where in North Carolina? Winston Salem, North Carolina. They have a National Black Theater Festival, and I'm the co-chairman of the festival. Well, that's great. I, you know, my yeah, dad. Yeah, it's really great because the uh, theater companies from all over uh, the country come there and form, and they even have a couple of uh, you know African companies and European companies that come yeah. over. And, uh, you know, North Carolina is terrific. And, uh, North Carolina School of the Arts is in Winston Salem, and it's you know it's yeah. on a level with uh, Juilliard. I mean, it's quite remarkable. Yeah, that's where uh, that's where Martin's daughter went, and my dad oh, lives in. Right. Yeah. yeah. My dad and my brother live there in North Carolina, in Kings Mountain near Charlotte. There's a there's some oh, truck okay, yeah. there's some truck making noise now. So uh, at any rate, well, you know we're, we're very happy to have you on board, and and and, and we're you know thrilled that we're going to resurrect this piece because I, I really feel, you know, that it has great possibilities. I do too. I do too. And I love the, uh, just the whole message about it's never too late to resurrect, you know? We're being invaded now. Yeah, we yeah. got the trash truck coming in. But so if we look at, uh, at mid-August uh, to really get uh, uh, working, uh, we can have the show up by, uh, by mid-September, couldn't we? Yeah, sure. You want to do like the first week in September? Uh, I think you know. Right now, we're gonna have to find out what uh, what we can get with the city grill and things like that. Uh, you know, get shopping around for uh, a deal on the reality show and see where all those things kind of fall into place. But if if we have that as a goal, as uh, right now that you know we'll we'll produce in mid September, then at least it gives us a starting point. Absolutely. We okay. Can. Cool. That's good. All right, great. All right, well, then just, just keep me posted. I've got a, a um, there's one or two little things. I've got a, a, a at the end of uh, August, I have a, there's a film that I directed that's opening in Omaha. <laughs> and so I have to uh, make arrangements for that if, if it's a definite go. If we're going to go, you, you guys let me know. All okay? right, we, we will do so. Then, uh -huh. I said yes, we will do that. 
All right, and then uh, I'll make some arrangements for the, the film in Omaha. Is that the uh, uh, is that the Amy that's movie? Thing later in September, and so we'll figure something out about that too. Okay, is that for the uh, Love of Amy? Is that the Love of Amy movie? Yeah, for Love of Amy is going to be opening. They they're starting. Um, they got like a, a, a Western distributor. And they're going to open in Omaha. Oh, excellent. All right. Yeah, yeah. So they're having a, a, a deal on the 28th of uh, August in Omaha. So, you know, yeah, I have to figure out what we, if, we, if we're going to be going, you know, like uh, mid-August, you know, either how to work that out, okay? All right, buddy. All right, but everything else needs to be cool. All right, cool. Have you, uh, Ted, have you been to Omaha? <laughs> yes, I have been to Omaha. Uh, because I did a movie there with Ellen Burstyn, and it's a nice town. And you know the, uh, the bed and breakfast that Ellen stayed in? Yes, I do. Well, that's where I stay whenever I go there. My God. You know, I <laughs> yeah, stay... I, 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 I'm leery. It's called uh, the Cornerstone Mansion. I know. I've been in it because we had readings there and, and, and rehearsals there before we started yeah, yeah, shooting. I know That's the place. I get home when I go to Omaha. <laughs> well, I, I stayed at the DoubleTree, actually. Uh, I think it was a DoubleTree. It was a big hotel because I, I wanted to be closer to stuff. Stuff. <laughs> no, I heard all the stories. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> In Omaha. <laughs> Uh, you know, you and your pajamas. Wild Kingdom was filmed well, there, after all. I, I was running around. I was running around in, in my pajamas and those dream sequences in, in twenty below zero. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I heard about it. I heard about it. Yeah, stalwart, <laughs> very stalwart. You, you, you made him realize you're an actor and not a polar bear. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure because I look like a polar bear. <laughs> anyway, good to talk well, to you, Ted. It'll be fun. All right, yes. yeah, we'll be in touch. Gretchen, very much look Gretchen forward and to it. I are very excited about it. Nice okay, to talk good, to I'm you, glad. Ted. Me too. I'm also excited. Okay. All right, man. We'll see you later. All right. Talk to you later. All right. God, God bless. bless. Take care. Okay, thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Say your life. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the stamp of approval. It's got the wah, wah, wah. You could have timed that better. <laughs> well, everybody's a critic. I told everybody's you. a critic. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> <laughs>